Jeez, you know, question of the day. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know what the question of the day was before this. I don't know what I made it in post, but future asteroid, please change the question of the day and and make it. Uh, uh, are we gonna catch this? Just that's that's just it. <laughs>Okay, this might be the dumbest thing I have ever done in a Pokemon Crystal Chain Monolock Randomizer Something Something series episode, alright? This is gonna be the most ambitious thing, the most dramatically intense and stupidestly ambitious thing I've ever done in my life, but for the entire episode, I am going to control my character with my mouth. Uh. Anyways, what is up guys? Welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Crystal Chain Monologue something 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 welcome back Thank you guys so much for your support on all these freaking episodes if you guys did miss the previous episode I highly recommend you guys go back and check it out I don't know why my voice got really really high pitched there, but thank you guys so much uh, Seriously for your support on this series. I really really do appreciate you guys are absolutely incredible And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the last episode and hopefully crossing my fingers last episode went up on time because uh, your boy your boy's doing a little bit of bulk recording, and I happen to be recording this episode as well as the last episode in the same day that the last episode's supposed to go up. So hopefully it goes up before midnight. If not, I'm really, 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 really flipping sorry. But uh, regardless, thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are freaking beautiful. We have Dave here. He's paralyzed. Come on, Dave. Come on. I swear, Dave, if you lose in the first five minutes. Okay, I was going to say. I was gonna say, if you lose within the first five minutes of today's episode, if we- Okay, I just wanna throw out there, if we lose Dave, period, we are done. Like, series over. Dave is carrying the team, and without him, I- I don't know what we'd do. I genuinely don't know what, what we'd do. We're gonna go to Mr. Big J, though. We should probably train up uh, a lot more Pokemon than Mr. Big J. Mr. Big J is almost level 20, which is nice, but we should probably, like, spread the experience a little bit more equally. I'm gonna rearrange the team. And, uh, and maybe change the lucky egg, give the lucky egg to someone else, someone else who, uh, who deserves it a little bit more than Peanut Butter Sky. Anyways, spoilers, we haven't even talked about the team yet, I can't be saying that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyways, yes, this is the second episode I'm recording in this session. Hopefully everything goes to plan, hopefully I'm able to record a, a bunch more than just this. I want to record like four episodes, which might be incredibly ambitious, and honestly, the more episodes that I record, the longer it's going to take for the previous episode to go up, so I don't know, man, I'm in a crisis, I'm in a per- Dickament a picklement if you would say I definitely should have recorded these episodes yesterday that definitely would have been smart But then again, I clearly am just not making good decisions right now uh, Anyways though, we're on a new route, which is kind of cool route 37 in case you guys were wondering So we should be able to get a brand new encounter you can see right there it switched over But actually before we get this new encounter, let's go over the team first and foremost Of course you guys already know and love him. We have mr. Big J the whooper the water and ground type with water gun tail whip and slam Next up, we got Dylan with Scratch, Leer, Rage, and Water Gun. We have... Samta. I don't know why, but I have, like, these hiccups coming up right now. Jesus. Hiccups. Stay. Still. I have a team recap to do. But anyways, we got Samta the Deli Bird with Present Cross Chop and Thunder Shock. Next up, we got... Excuse me. We got Jam Sky the right horn. I'm telling you, man, these hiccups are kind of killing me with Horn Attack, Tail Whip, and Stomp. And then last but not least, we got Dave, the MVP, the Aerodactyl, with Wing Attack, Agility, Bite, and Supersonic. And of course, we have the egg. It's close to hatching. Yo! So we can get the egg encounter as well as this Route 37 encounter as well as whatever other encounters we're going to be able to get in today's episode. So that's super exciting. Without further ado, we're going to get an APOM. Okay, that's a normal type. Uh, looking at the types we can catch, we have Water Ground, Rock, Flying, Ice, uh, and that's it, I think. It's just water, ground, rock, 
flying ice. Those are the five titans we can catch, I think. I think, if I'm thinking about that correctly, if I am, if I am, if I am calculating that right. We don't have a normal type, so unfortunately we can't catch Apom. Let's go ahead and get another encounter, see what we're gonna run into. Please be a Lugia, just give me a freaking Lugia. That's right, I'm being ambitious. Give me a Lugia, we can catch a Lugia. Come on, man. Please? Boop. Oh, it's a coughing! That's cute. We don't have a poison type, unfortunately. Rest in peace, coughing. I would actually not mind a coughing. Coughing, and especially wheezing, is a defensive monster. That would actually be pretty helpful. Uh, yo! Houndour! Do we have a dark type? No, we don't. Squawk Squawk died. Aww. Aww. I'm sorry, man. I would love a Houndour. I would love a Houndour, but unfortunately, Squawk Squawk is no longer with us, which means that we cannot catch dark types. What can we catch? Come on. Come on, I can't, I can't catch you! Houndour, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, man, I appreciate you and I respect you, but dude, my choke can't catch fighting types. Shoot, man. Shoot, is this, is this gonna be another situation where we're just running around for ages? Houndour, no, can't catch you. What else? Uh, my choke, can't catch you! Why? Why, man? Girl, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, I should really chill with the speed, I'm not trying to die. Um, and also I should probably go back to the Pokemon Center, get some more, or not the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon, get some more, uh, items. Cause I feel like, do, do we even have balls? Hang on. Okay, we have three Pokeballs, bro. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No. No. Escape. Mr. Big Dad, now he's poisoned. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Hang on. Jeez. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Actually, let me see if... Let me heal that poison first and foremost. Let me see if we can just keep going. Like, can we... Shoot. Like, is the town, like, right here? Is the next town, like, right here? Or is it, like, kind of a process? Like, how many... How many routes do we have to go through before... Uh, can we avoid all these trainers? I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can. I'm gonna try. There's a sign right there that indicates something good. That could indicate a, uh, a new... Uh, a new place. Uh, how do I get past this guy? There we go. There we go. Another encounter. Hondar, we can't catch you. Um, shoot, man. Egger okay, cool. Cool. Egertik is right there. Thank goodness, because I, I almost ran all the way back. I almost ran all the way back, and that would have been a big old waste of time. But there we go. Oh. Oh. Hi there. What's up? What's going on? We'll go back and fight those trainers, but in the meantime, I want to go ahead, heal up, and then, uh... And, uh, and also get some more potions and stuff. Masteroid, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? <gasps> what? My time capsule was developed and able to trade to the past, but you can't uh, send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have to remove something, something. Our new Pokemon, the time capsule. Cool. So, wait, this is how you transfer Pokemon from, like, Gen 1 to Gen 2, right? Or, like, Gen 2 to Gen 1, I think? I don't know, or maybe it's just, it's just trading. It's just trading, period. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead, we healed up, now let's go to the Pokemart. I absolutely love our critiques theme. So peaceful, man. We have a gym here. Uh, Pokemon Gym, Leader Morty. Oh, okay. I forgot that Morty was, uh, was in this town. That's cool. That's cool. But question, where is the... Pokemart? Don't even tell me it's not a Pokemart. We need a Pokemart. There's a Pokemart! Yo, I knew I saw a familiar face. I knew I saw a familiar face. How may I help you? Alright, we're gonna buy a ton of super potions. Let's buy, like, I don't know, just 10. Alright, I'm feeling ambitious. And then we'll also stock up on a bunch of great balls here. Let's just grab six. Why not? That'll be perfect. Alright, so now we can get a proper encounter. Actually, we can head right and see if we can get an encounter to the right of this town. Uh, I don't know exactly what is right of this town. Route 42, did we already get an encounter here? I don't think so. We have a sunstone! That's cool. Okay, so Route 42, I don't think we can get an encounter unless we have a fishing rod. Or we can surf, which I don't think we can do that yet. Do we have a fishing rod? Um, there's actually a lot of encounters we can get right now, which is freaking beautiful. But yeah, no, we don't have a fishing rod. So unfortunately, we can't get an encounter in Route 42, but we can get an encounter in this cave, or in, in Mount Mortar, I should be calling it. So here we go, Mount Mortar, what are we gonna get? Give me something good. 
And then we can also head back to the route that we were experimenting on, the Route 37, I believe it was. Um, and see if we can get another encounter over there. There must be like a rare Pokemon we can catch. At this point, with us having access to five typings, you would think we'd be able to uh, find Pokemon to catch rather easily. But then again, we have freaking Reap here, and unfortunately we cannot catch that. Let me go ahead and switch around the team, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Let's throw Mr. Big J all the way in the back. We'll put James Guy up front, get some experience on him. He does have the Lucky Egg, so we can... Uh, Hopefully get him up a lot of levels really quick here. I don't know what is in Mount Mortar, to be honest. I totally forgot, but we could. <gasps> Yo! We can catch that! We can catch that! Zapdos! My son! My son! Okay. Okay. <sighs> Pause. Let me take a deep breath. Let me take a deep breath. We're immune to electricity and we resist flying. Let me go for the horn attack. He goes for the thunder, or thunder wave. We're immune. 100%. Let's go for the horn attack. Let's try and weaken him down. Okay, Jam Sky, I'm believing in you. I am believing in you. Look at my boy go. Look at my boy go. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. There's a very good chance we can catch the Zapdos. 100%. Google just activated. Shut up, Google. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry, Google. I didn't mean to say uh, such rude things to you. I appreciate you. Now, we're gonna go for one more horn attack. As long as we do not get a crit, then it will put him in the red. He'll be in the perfect spot to catch. Jam Sky, just please. Just please, man. Thank you. Jam Sky, you're beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna throw balls. Look at us go, man. Look at us go. Throw that great ball. Oh my god, we might actually get a Zapdos. We might actually get a freaking Zapdos. Getting this. Th oh, okay. He's being a little bit frisky. He's being a little bit frisky. You know, we missed out on the Ho-Oh, uh, but I have faith. I have faith that we'll be able to catch this Zapdos, man. I'm crossing my fingers. The Ho-Oh luck has spawned again. Give me something. Give me something. Ooh, I'm really pumped, man, because if we can get a Zapdos, dude, not only is that going to give us access to electric electricity, electric types, but it's also going to give us a freaking Zapdos, all right? And I'm pumped about that. So here we go. Come on, man. Come on, man. Jeez, you know, question of the day. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know what the question of the day was before this. I don't know what I made it in post, but future asteroid, please change the question of the day and and make it. Uh, uh, are we gonna catch this? Just that's that's just it. Also, in case you guys weren't aware, answering the question of the day is the best way uh, to go ahead and uh, and get a Pokemon named after you. That's how I choose people. I grab people from the comment section of previous episodes who have named and, and answered that question. So drop it down below, answer to the question of the day, and uh, thank you, Future Asteroid. I, I appreciate you changing that. Anyways, without further ado, please get in the ball. Zapdos, I will love you forever. I will love you forever. You will be my best friend. All right, we only have like five more tries to catch this thing, but I think I've, I think I've put ourselves in basically the best possible situation to catch it. I don't think I could lower it down any more than where it is. So, if we catch it, great. If we don't, not so great. You know, he's going for the thunder waves. Luckily, James guy is like the perfect Pokemon to totally wall this thing. Uh, but this is our last great ball. So, here we go, man. Come on, come on, great ball. No, not even a single shake. Come on, man. Come on. I want the Zapdos so bad. We only have three more balls, though, and they're Pokeballs. Bro. Bro, please. Please, Zapdos. Please. That's all I can say. That's all I can say is just please. We have to get extremely lucky. If we catch this thing, I'm actually going to freak out. I want a Zapdos so bad. We only have two more balls, though. Come on, man. Come on, man. Just get in the ball. Thank you. Please, just, just do it for me. Oh my god. Is there any status we can inflict on this thing? I don't think so. I don't think so. This is our last ball, though. Come on. That's all I ask. Just come on. Do it for me. Do it for me, Zapdos. Just please. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know why I got my hopes up, man. I I don't know why I even, I even bothered. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Rest in peace, Zapdos. You, you, thanks, man. I, that was dumb. That was, that was dumb. Um, alright, man. <laughs> That's really all I can say. I, I was, I was really, really hoping to get it. You know, I, I, I thought we had a chance, too. I genuinely thought we had a chance with that. But I guess not. 
I guess not. With that being said, though, uh, let's go ahead, keep on moving forward. We could probably take on the gym today, so that's pretty incredible. But before we do that, let's go stock up on balls and see if we can get an encounter in Route 37. I feel like that's smart. There's probably some rare Pokemon in there that we are able to catch. We just haven't exactly run into them yet. Great balls. Oh, we have no money. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, you know what? Let's take on the gym first. Let's take on the gym first. Is this egg about a hatch? Because maybe we can hatch it before the gym. That might be smart because that'll give us that'll give us a full team of six. It must be close to hatching. All right, I'm gonna hatch this egg. See what we can get. There's a lot of encounters in today's episode, so we'll just we'll just hatch this real quick. Sorry for the annoying uh, sound as I speed up here, but we'll go ahead and hatch this. Grab a six Pokemon for the gym. We'll have a full party, assuming that's the typing we can use, and uh, and that'll be freaking beautiful. Then we'll take on the gym, get some money, and then get an encounter on Route 37. I feel like that'll be overall incredibly smart. Here we go. Huh? What is it? Our first egg was a little bit of a dud, but you never know, man. This one might be incredibly powerful. Just give me something good. Give me something we can use. We can use that. We can use that. Do gong, 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 gong. I'll take it, man. We're going to go ahead and name this Pokemon after one of you guys from the previous, previous episode. Uh, once again, if you guys do want a Pokemon named after you, the best way to go ahead and do that is to drop a comment down below. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so scrolling through the previous, previous episode, which happens to be episode 8, I noticed two things, and I totally honestly forgot about one of those things. Uh, the first thing is that I asked in that episode what you guys wanted me to name the little Manetric here that I keep on my little boom arm. I was talking about it, you know, you guys could drop names down below, and I would love to get your suggestions, and a lot of you guys suggested the name Ice Milk in reference to the fact that I am apparently an ice milker now. Hi, I put ice on my milk, sorry if this makes you hate me, but anyways, uh, yeah, so I decided to name him Ice Milk. I feel like that is incredibly fitting. Look at this man. He just he screams ice milker You could just hear him yelling off the end of my boom arm about how he just loves ice in his milk But anyways the second thing that I noticed is we have a comment here from my boy spooky dingo 05 Thank you so much for your comment. I really really do appreciate it man. The question of the day to that previous episode was <laughs> It was a, something that Skylar had said and I just I, I literally had asked her I was like hey, what should the question of the day be? And she gave me that in response. So Spooky interpreted it by responding with, um, okay, ice milk. So thank you for your support, man. I really, really like your name. And I think Spooky is like just the perfect name for this dugong. It's kind of like, it's kind of like an outlandish name. Like you wouldn't really think, um, to, to have a Pokemon named Spooky here. Now the way you spelled Spooky was with an E-Y. So we'll go ahead and rock out with that. Spooky! That's how you gotta pronounce it. Spooky! So we're gonna rock out with that. But anyways, thank you so much, Spooky, for the support and for the name as well. Without further ado, let's go and check out my boy Spooky. Here we have a level 5 dugong. Interesting, with Ember and Dizzy Punch. Damn! Okay! Alright, this one heck of a moveset. I would totally be down to make use of this thing. This thing is part ice, right? 100%. I, I think it is. Let me... Hang on. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to check out the summary. I want to confirm that it is part ice, so... I was going to say that it'll actually open us up to ice types, but we already have Samta for that, so... Spooky here really isn't adding much uh, type-wise to the team, but I'd be down to make use of him. We'll just keep him in the back of the party, and, uh, and, and maybe we'll grind him up. Maybe we'll actually use him. I don't know. I think it'll really depend on what we end up getting as our encounter in, the, in these next couple of routes. Because if we get a Pokemon that's better than Dugong, or if we get a Pokemon that could actually add more types to our team, then I think I would rather use that as opposed to the Dugong. Uh, I mean, I love Dugong, but we might get something better in these upcoming routes, so I'm going to keep him on the team just to kind of chill there, but I'm not going to fully dedicate to grinding him up yet until I'm convinced 100% that we're going to be able to make use of him. So without further ado, let's head over to the gym and uh, and get some battles underway. Now, I'm not even going to lie, my house smells really, really good right now. I can smell my dad making dinner. Let me just, sorry about that. Sorry for the pause in the game audio. But I can smell the food from downstairs. My dad's cooking up something great. And I am so genuinely hungry. Like, I can just smell it. It smells like, um... Oh, it smells like burritos or something. And, dude, my stomach is just aching. I cannot wait to consume it after this, after this, uh, episode. Anyways, more to the gym leader that is absent. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. Oh, what? This guy is an asshole. Wait, where's Morty then? Oh, he's in the tower, isn't he? He's in the big boy tower. We got Burn Tower. Okay. All right, we can actually get an encounter in Burn Tower as well. Holy crap, dude. There's a lot of encounters we can get. Yeah, I used to be here. My grandma told me it used to be much taller. Okay. 
Okay, you let's sick. So I'm assuming this is where we gotta go. I totally forgot about this for a second. Uh, Eugene or Eugene? My name's Eugene. <laughs> I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune, and you are Asteroid. Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is in this burned tower, so I came to look. But where exactly could it be? Uh, okay, is that is that it, dude? I'm pretty sure we have a rival battle too. I honestly forgot about all this. Uh, oh, there's Morty! Eggedig's gym leader has to study what are said to be legendary Pokemon Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. He seems here so they decided to investigate with Tyr with him. Alright, so I'm assuming after we investigate this, then we'll go ahead and uh, be able to rock out with the gym. But anyways, we're gonna get an encounter here in Burn Tower. That's gonna be a hip! No, unfortunately, we cannot catch Psychic types. As of right now, we can catch rock, flying, ground, ice, and... water. Those are the five we can catch, right? Even with uh, Spooky, it doesn't really add much. Uh, anyways, we're gonna run away. Look at Jam Sky go! Look at him running! Look at those tiny little legs moving at a rapid pace. Uh, can we get a static encounter? I actually don't know. Can we smash this rock? Hmm, do we have rock smash? How do we actually progress here? Let, let us see. Actually, we don't have any balls! Oh, shoot! Yeah, let me- Oh, wait, we don't have money! Shoot! Oh, no, don't get another encounter. We gotta get balls. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, we gotta sell some stuff. We definitely gotta sell some, sell some stuff before we progress here, because if we can't get money from the gym... Actually, hang on, what we can do is we can fight the trainers that we skipped over in Route 37. Let me do that first, get some cash that way, buy as many balls as we can, then if we're still a little bit short, then we'll go ahead and sell stuff, get some balls, head to the tower, and then head to the gym, and then... I don't know, man, there's a lot of stuff we could do. There's a lot of stuff we could do here, we have a lot of options. Let's go ahead, run away. Fight this dude, hopefully he can give us some money. Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep, I'll show you how scary that is. Bro, don't you dare! Don't you dare be Pokemon to be pause. I can't speak English. Be put my Pokemon to sleep. I will fist you. All right, that is a threat in the most PG way possible. Don't even test me, man. Don't even test me because it will happen. He's going for the bites. James guy is fine, dude. He's taking these hits for days. Uh, that unfortunately didn't do, didn't do that much. So we're gonna go ahead and switch out. Go into Dave because Dave is the MVP. You guys already know and love him. There we go. Good game. We got the money. I'm just gonna speed through this. Not even gonna lie, because I really just want the funds. That's all I'm here for. And you're not even gonna battle me. Come on, man. Come on. Is that really the only trainer? Okay. Update. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I don't even know how long this episode's been going on for. Hopefully it hasn't been too long. But anyways, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. We could sell actually a lot of stuff here. Um. We could sell... I don't know, man. I guess... I guess the Sunstone? No, I want to keep the Sunstone just in case. Just in case it could be nice. Can we sell TMs? Because we really don't need Rain Dance. Oh, okay. We could sell that. Cool. Okay, we don't need Rain Dance. Um, okay. You know what? We'll just, we'll just buy a bunch of balls with the money that we were able to make here. Four great balls. Easy peasy. Alright. Uh, we also have, I think, the, the charcoal sells for a lot of money. We could probably sell, like, the Miracle Seed and stuff as well, but I kind of want to keep that stuff on deck, just in case we want to power up a, a, a Grass Tip Attack, or, you know, I feel like those are kind of useful items to have just in the back burner, so. Anyways, without further ado, speaking of burning stuff, we're going to go to the Burn Tower, finally get an encounter, and hopefully, hopefully it'll be powerful, man, and hopefully it'll be something that we can catch within four Great Balls, because, dude, if it's not, then we're going to be kind of screwed. Um, anyways, I believe this is the way we have to go, not over to the right. I think in Heartless is over, you went over to the right, but in this game, you gotta go to the left. Anyways, what's up? We got a Parasect! We can catch that, I'm pretty sure. Or, can we not? No, we can't. This thing is bug grass. This thing is bug grass, right? And we can't catch bug or grass types. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, but that's kind of dangerous for Jam Sky. Hopefully, Peanut Butter Ground can uh, withstand the force of an almighty Parasect. Anyway, is that a rival? That is a rival. What's up? Oh, it's you! I came looking for some legendary Pokemon that they say roast, roast, something, something. But there's nothing here. Nothing after all the trouble of coming to the dump. No way, or coming to this dump. It's all your fault. Jeez, why, man? Wh okay. Okay, I, I can understand you're frustrated. But you can't blame that on me! Ryan wants to battle, he's always aggressive, he's... <laughs> he's Ryan, I don't know what I expected. Um, but you know, that's just, that's just plain ridiculous. I cannot believe this man's actually accusing me of such, uh, such monstrosities. We're gonna go for the wing attack though, absolutely annihilate this Staryu. I am sorry, Staryu, or, or should I be saying, Stargon? Get out of here, man. But yeah, no, it's kinda cool we have a rival battle, it's been a little bit since we've actually seen our rival. So that's pretty cool. He's gonna send in the Nidorina. I right, we'll switch out. We'll go back into Jam Sky because Jam Sky genuinely needs the experience. I don't actually trust Jam Sky to be able to take this on, though. Maybe if we had a ground type attack, then I would, but I don't know, man. Also, side note, these levels are kind of getting up there. 
Uh, Aerodactyl kind of feels threatened. We're gonna go for, or he's gonna go for the double kick. Bro, you better be chilling. You better be chilling. We're gonna go for the wing attack. Absolutely annihilate this neat arena. Um, but you know, these levels are starting to catch up to Aerodactyl. And that's kind of scary, man, because I don't know. That means the gym's levels are gonna be caught up, and that basically means that everyone else on my team is underleveled, which is incredibly concerning. Uh, so we definitely gotta start grinding more and more. We might even do a grinding time lapse for the next episode. Or maybe not the next episode, but for like the next next episode. That just might be smart. Uh, Charmeleon. Okay. We'll just, we'll just stay in. Because I'm honestly afraid of this, this boy. Yo, look at those slash attacks. Damn. Charmeleon's a freaking savage. We're gonna go for the wing attack. Hopefully that'll be enough to put out this man's flame. Absolutely uh, annihilate him. Yo, look at that. Down goes the Charmeleon, rest in peace, and that's just experience galore. And he's gonna send in the Venusaur. Yo! Yo! This man actually has a freaking Venusaur! This man is from Kanto! Oh my god! Alright, we'll go for the wing attack without further ado. I'm sorry, Venusaur, but you're weak to this. I don't think you're gonna be able to stand a chance. Rest in peace! Venusaur is incredibly powerful, but he stands no chance against the power of Dave. I probably should have switched out and got some experience for that one, but it's alright. Humph! Good game, man. This is why I hate battling wimps. I think you're the wimp. There's no challenge in it. Bro, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This man's just plain wrong. Like, it's not even like he has, like, some sort of, like, misguided judgment or, you know, he just, he wants to be the best. Like, no, he just, he's just plain stupid is what he is. You'd never be able to catch a bloodshed Pokemon anyway. Dude, I'm better than you. Oh, huh. what are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. Serves you right. <laughs> this guy's an asshole. Okay. Okay, pause. Pause. I know we're going to see some legendaries right now. I don't know if we're actually going to get to battle them, though. I don't think so. I don't think so. From what I remember from, like, you know, Harkos and Silver and stuff. Let me take this opportunity, though, to heal up. Uh, do we have potions? We do. Okay, let me just make sure. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine, Jess gets level Look at this man! He's already level 15! Look at this man go! Alright, here we go. <gasps> oh! Wait! 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 That was a Mewtwo cry! Hold up. Okay. I'm gonna play those cries back. Because, and, and I want you guys to let me know what you think they are. I'm pretty sure Entei was a Mewtwo. And the reason why I say this, and I, I totally forgot until I, um, until I had heard that, that cry, but, but, uh, the legendaries are randomized. And we're gonna get an encounter. Um. Onyx! That's dupes! We can call dupes on that. Okay. Okay. Um, can't escape. Great. Let me run away. Thank you. But yeah, as I was saying, those cries are the cries of the Pokemon that they actually are. So when we get, when we get to encounter the Entei, the Raikou, or the Suicune, um, they're gonna be the Pokemon that have those cries. I'm pretty, pretty sure. So that means that the Entei is probably a Mewtwo, if I'm right with my cry guesses. But uh, anyways, let me know down below. Let me know what you guys think those cries are. And, uh, and that'll help us figure out what those legendaries are. And it, and it makes sense that the legendaries are randomized to other legendaries, because that's how I said it in the randomizer. Um, so anyways. I dug a hole here, too. I was shocked. Oh, I was flabbergasted. So you can race by like a blur, right in front of my eyes. For ten years, I chased Suicune, and if I finally got to, and I finally got to see it, I'm all choked up. Ash, I owed this all to you. Thank you. I heard that the something something. Anyways, allowing them to get close. Track Suicune. Let's meet again. Farewell. All right, cool, man. Sweet. Yeah, that was that was one heck of an experience. Um, but I think we're gonna have to leave the uh, the actual gym for oh, one more encounter before we leave. Is it gonna be something we can catch? <gasps> it's a scissor. We can't catch that though, man. Shoot, dude, that'd be awesome. All right, come on, Jam Sky. You gotta you gotta run away. Jam Sky, Jam Sky, run! Oh my God, Jam Sky, you silly buffoon! You silly buffoon! Wait. Oh my god, he was going for pursuits. That was not smart. Let me go ahead and switch Dave up front. I feel like that might be... Actually, no, no, no. No, no, no. Let's put Mr... Let's put, um... Shoot, shoot. Stop. No, no. Go back to the party. Alright, let's put Mr. Big J up front. I feel like that's the smartest. Uh, and then we'll, we'll keep trying to get an encounter here. Because I really, really, really want an encounter. Wait. Hold up. 
Hold up. We have balls. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Here we go. We still haven't got an, an encounter we can catch, right? I don't think so. Scizor? Yeah, we can't catch that. We can't escape, though, bro! Run! Mr. Big J! Oh, my God! Okay. I cannot believe we're playing these games. Let me... Let me heal up. Jeez, man. Jeez. Jam Sky, heal you up. As well as Dave. Okay. Here we go. Can we please get a Pokemon we can catch? Please. Chin Chow! We can catch that, and that gives us electricity. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Let's go for the slam. That shouldn't knock him out. He's gonna go for the flail. Okay. But, you know, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to get to the gym today. Which, uh, kinda sucks just because of the fact that I'm- I'm really, really looking forward to it, man. Uh, I really, really wanna take on my boy, my boy Morty. We're gonna go for one more slam. As long as we don't get a crit, we should be fine. He's gonna go for the bubble. That's fine. <gasps> of course! Of course we get a crit! Great! Mr. Big J, you were too big! You were too big! Kinda like Ridley before Smash Ultimate. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. <sighs> With that sour note out of the way, Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe this episode was more than 30 minutes, right? Um, I I'm genuinely genuinely losing a track of time, especially with, you know, all these bulk recordings I'm doing. Um, it's hard to tell, like, what each individual episode length is. But with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are freaking beautiful. Hit that like button down below, comment, and subscribe. And with that all being said, I'll see you dudes next time. Peace!